Hey, it's David. Welcome back to Orange Drill Daily Homes. And today's Friday, so everyone's going to get ready and look forward to the weekend. Hopefully we have some sun. It would be nice. Um, all right, so what do we have today? We've got 10 properties that we're going to review. And um, if you like themed rooms, then you're in, a, you're in for a treat. Um, and if you're uh, interested in a, a townhouse that... Uh, you don't have to worry about any backyard maintenance, but uh, you know you don't want to be in a condo, right? So it's, you can kind of drive into your own garage and walk out. And anyways, I've, I've listed one. It's it's in the list today, and uh, we'll take a look at that. So let's start with our first one, which is uh, over on Aaron Town Line. It's in a, in a little place called Orton, which is just a little north of Hillsburg. Now this one here, I mean, it really does have a nice big kind of backyard-ish. It's like 132 feet. It's uh, 41 feet wide. It's one. It's a one and a half story home, and back in the so the house has been kind of renovated in the uh, in the kitchen. There, it's all all new, and uh, I guess they've superimposed some. Um, uh, some furniture kind of in the room to say this is how it would look if uh, if there was furniture in there it's kind of interesting it's it's they're they're taking advantage of some of the newer technologies that we have to our ability uh, or available to us and uh, so yeah it's kind of this virtually staged kind of rendition as to what things uh, would look like which is kind of cool right sometimes people can't see around an empty home this may be an opportunity to help those um, who are just having that little bit of a hard time trying to figure out, you know, how uh, how it's all going to look. But uh, very nice. I mean, what are they at? Uh, 264. You know, four bedrooms. There's then there's one washroom in there. So interesting. It's in like a hundred year old house. Next one is 65 Montgomery Boulevard, uh, 324. Uh, that's what these are pretty much going for in the in that range nowadays. Uh, it doesn't have a, a finished basement. Um, being kind of interesting to see where it all kind of settles and whatnot. You're just gonna have to wait for the pictures because it's not up as of yet. Now, the one thing I do like about this one is it's a two and a half story, so you do get that extra loft area, which is uh, which is kind of special because not a lot of homes have that. Uh, this one here, I think, is like the, the first one, or it's the first one to be sold in this division or the subdivision that they they built. Uh, Three sixty nine. It's a townhouse. Uh, it's not an end unit. It's the middle unit here, and uh, obviously, I don't think anyone's lived in it. I think they've just bought it for a investment. And the area, it's not. I mean, it's it's a nice area that they've kind of built it in. Uh, there is like a. And so it is a freehold, uh, but they do have, I think, like a ninety dollar uh, fee per month to deal with the lights and the road and all that kind of stuff outside. But uh, three bedrooms, three washrooms, and uh, yeah, there you have it. Obviously, there's no grass or anything yet put down, but that would be the first one to get listed. It's about uh, thirteen hundred square feet. Now the next one, uh, this is a 48 Birch Field, and uh, it's the one I just listed down in Caledon. And uh, this one here, it's, it's this is the unit right here. It's the, the kind of interior unit. There's no backyard. This is your front yard, right? Just enough for a for sale sign, right? That you could put up. Uh, but you can fit a, a full car uh, in the driveway there, and then you can park in the garage. And then right around, if I turned around you would actually go ahead and see that there is visitor parking as well. So your front entrance way, that's your furnace room. Uh, it's a closet. There's another closet on the other side. And then this is the uh, entrance to the garage. And then a set of stairs that goes up. Uh, and when you come upstairs, you have this uh, kitchen with backsplash, LED lighting, uh, stainless steel appliances. Uh, you've got a breakfast bar that kind of wraps around. You could fit probably another three more down the side. This is a pantry, hardwood flooring, which is nice. And uh, then you have the dining room kind of off to the back of the living room there. There's a little balcony. There's a little air conditioning unit out there as well. It's a better uh, angle of the uh, of the space there, All right? Living room. And then you've got the set of stairs that goes up. And then upstairs you you have a bathroom up there. Uh, there's a bathroom on the main floor. And then you have the, the two bedrooms there. 
and then there's another room down at the end. They're just using it as a, as a den. You could use it as a bedroom uh, if you wanted. But uh, there we have it. So 399 offers are being presented uh, on Thursday next week. So if you want to see it, I'm doing an open house uh, tomorrow and, the, and Sunday, 12 to, one, uh, 12 to 2 both days. So next is uh, 748 Cedar Street, and it's 399 and this one here is a bungalow. It's in Shelburne, okay? So there is a two-car garage there. Uh, it's obviously newer as well. It's only a, a couple of years old, maybe, I think. Uh, hardwood flooring in there. And then uh, stainless steel appliances. And the pendant lights, which is nice. I like pendant lights. They always uh, make a great uh, uh, statement, I guess, in the, uh, in the kitchen. So a couple of uh, bar stools up there would be really nice as well. And then you have the TV above the fireplace, which is typically what you see a lot of nowadays. And uh, yeah, so it seems like a really nice place. And uh, for $3.99, um, new house, bungalow in Orangeville, or sorry, in Shelburne. Um, yeah, by all means. Next one is 502 uh, Wings Way, Waynesburg Way, and it's $4.99. And it's a corner unit, okay, or corner unit, corner house. Um, the fence would probably just need to be put up on the side there, but inside looks nice. They've staged it out pretty well, uh, and uh, you know I think this is trying to see. It doesn't tell me. I don't. I don't think it's granite. It looks like it's granite, but they don't say that it's granite. Anyways, uh, stainless steel appliances, which is nice. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of space. And it's new, right? I mean, this, what do you say? I mean, it's a it's a five-bedroom house. A lot of space, right? Uh, a lot of rooms. Basement, obviously, is not going to be finished. There's a different angle, right? So you just want to bring a fence down and then run it across the back. But yeah, I mean, five bedrooms. Wow, that's a, that's a good size. That's a good size house, right? It's on a 45-foot lot, nine-foot ceilings. Excuse me there. Uh, 29 Egan Crescent, 749, and uh, this one here is in Bolton North, right? So Bol Bolton, man, it, Bolton is moving really well. Uh, they've, they're doing quite well. Uh, homes are definitely not staying on the market long, and this one I don't think will either. I mean, this is nice. They've just kind of angled the, the, the doors in that picture there, hardwood flooring. Um, I, th I think that this is wallpaper, maybe, I think hard to tell. Uh, kitchen is nice. It's obviously been updated. And then you have a, a fully finished basement. The rest of the rooms are good. I mean, there's four bedrooms on the upper. There's a there's another one downstairs, and then there's four washrooms. Very nice. And then you back on to nobody. Like that's awesome, right? Nice and quiet. Good uh, good area of town. I think they priced it priced it well, right? So. Very nice. Next one, this was on Gore Road, seven ninety nine. dollars uh, This one has a walkout as well. Uh, it is on about one acre, and uh, inside it's been renovated. It looks really nice, uh, nice open concept, like good-sized kitchen there. And uh, you get stainless steel appliances, but I don't, know what, I don't know if that's a bank of drawers or if that is a dishwasher. It's just kind of hard to, it's just kind of hard to tell because it's a different color. Anyways, uh, it's definitely interesting, you know, you've got a, a workout room that's all glass. I don't know, I think this is the porch, I would say, that you could kind of hang out at the back. And then you've got this crazy, crazy, crazy Disney room, theater room. Like, wow, talk about being bold. That is very bold room. Very cool. I mean, how many houses has its own theater, right? You, I mean, that's that's super, that's super cool. Uh, color, color is a little bright, but I mean, how many homes has that, right? Very neat. Uh, this is a very different house, guys. Like this is totally like custom, unique, spacious. Um, yeah, it's very cool. I mean, this is kind of. I don't know if this is. I think this is when you first walk in. You've got that little workout room, and then you've got a set of stairs going up, and you've got the living room off to the. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, but again, there's just so much to it. Like I guess they have this little office space on the upstairs landing, which is definitely unique. And then there's another set of stairs that goes up a, a, 
think it looks like we to the attic maybe. I, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very cool. I'm stumbling for words only because it's very, very unique. Uh, I mean, that's that's cool. I mean, that's a big looking house for uh, for seven ninety nine. You get a little bit of a half pond back there because it kind of kind of narrows across the back, and uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool to me, man. I'm uh, I'm a I'm a fan. It's got a new septic system, in it, a new septic system in it as well, which is very neat. All right, next one is uh, Fall View Circle. And this one is on Kennedy and Mayfield. This is right around the corner from the one that I had listed. This is $8.99. It's fully detached, four bedrooms, four washrooms, beautiful looking study, uh, you know, hardwood flooring all the way through it. You've got some pot lights. Again, TV above the fireplace, which is great. It makes great use of the space. Uh, breakfast bar, it's great to see. You got the, the bar stools on the inner and then on the outer. Um, there's obviously, I think, kind of cabinets off to the side. And then you've got your white cabinets with your stainless steel appliance. It just, it, it, it looks really nice. I like what they've done. And uh, they've just added a little bit of color to the room as well. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm a fan. I think, uh, I think the value's there. In, you know, compared to some of the ones I've seen uh, in the last little while. And, but again, if, if you can handle being in, in a more of a construction zone for a period of time, then uh, then yeah. But I mean, this is a this is a fairly fairly big uh, big property. So it's being spent about like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of upgrades on that one. Next one is Twelve Oceans Bond, and this one is in Caledon East. One million one hundred and twenty four thousand three car garage. Uh, this one here, it's yeah. I mean, when again, when you start getting up. To these upper prices, uh, you really, you really kind of have to see the home to see, to really appreciate what's there. Uh, so you've got this big kind of entrance walkway, like walk. You kind of walk in, and away you go. Um, there it is, right? So you walk in, living room just off to the side. You've got a dining room, uh, and I think these are cherry wood cabinets, uh, stainless steel appliances. You got the three pendant lights. Um, I I don't know if they if they if there's a lip on this breakfast bar or not. It doesn't look like it is, but it's a shame if there isn't because it would be great. You know, you could put you know little bar stools around it. Uh, it's just kind of hard to tell. But anyways, I mean it's a big looking. It's I mean this is a big place. I mean another like family room now, which is off the other side. A huge laundry room, master bedroom. Uh, yeah, it's it's all the rooms are really good sizes. Anyways, that's uh, yeah, that's our last one, folks. It looks like they've spent about one hundred and eighty thousand dollars on this upgrade. It's like I said, it's a thirty eight hundred square foot. Um, sorry, thirty yeah, uh, thirty three thousand eight hundred square foot house. <laughs> sorry about that little tongue tied. Well, that's the last one, everybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're thinking about making a move, if you're thinking about you know what's it like to live in the area. Just shoot me off an email. Let's. I'll be tour guide for a while. I'll take you around. I'll introduce you to the areas. I'll give you a, kind of the history, the rundown, the things to do, and all the things to stay away from, and more. <laughs> and maybe we'll even go out for lunch. <laughs> That's our last one, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll be back on Monday with another episode of Orangeville Daily Homes. Bye for now.